that. Okay, so look at the setup on the right hand side now. Yeah. You've got that, you've got the tilt we're looking for, yeah. setting up for a driver. Yeah. Your lead arm now and the club, yeah? Yeah. Are pretty much on one shot. Whereas before yeah. it was kind of in here, then yeah. there, and the ball was a long way forward. So when you yeah. actually came to the golf ball now, your hands were basically, because you were set up more like an iron, yeah. as you come to it, the golf ball, you get decent backswing, but your ball now is, oh, the ball's further forward to the club, so that everything just sort of shoved towards, there's your impact. Yeah. How far yeah. forward your hands have gone there? Your hands stayed here. Well, if your club head now was square, whatever that angle is there between yeah. those two red lines, your club face has opened up that, that many that degrees. Yeah. Yeah. Only going to go one way. And then yeah. what then you would try and do is maybe try and smother it or roll your hands or do yeah. whatever you could yeah. to send it somewhere non-right, which you yeah. would occasionally do, yeah. but at a sacrifice, generally a poor contact. Yeah. Very, very low potentially, and ideally not a very, very good shot. So from this position here now, Again, same good backswing. You're getting the golf club in a good position at the top of the backswing here. It's now letting that golf club, when it comes back down, basically catch up. So there's that finish line where your hand's out. There's basically the impact that ball just about to go. Look where your hands are. Yeah. You've let that club catch up. So that drill there with the cushion or the, the, uh, the pillow there, you could do that at home against the wall there. Just getting that sensation. And it's all about club head speed. I think yeah. use that sort of towel analogy, that sort of whip yeah. of the towel there. For yeah. this part of the golf club, to go fast, this part has to decelerate, yeah? yeah. If the hands sort of slow down in some ways, yeah. the club now could catch yeah. up, yeah? Now again, you could obviously overdo that, which on a couple of times you did, yeah, yeah, and you yeah. just draw it, yeah, yeah. but at least it's a draw kind of in the air. Yeah. It's not a yeah, low yeah. snap hook smother, it's gonna go yeah. about 50 yards off, yeah. The, yeah. off the tee and end up probably losing the ball in a bush somewhere, yeah? yeah, yeah so, yeah, yeah. now in this case, obviously, because you were hanging back, you didn't really get off your left, off your back foot, back foot and you yeah. hung back a little yeah. bit. So yeah, yeah. if we were being sort of super critical of that drive there, we would say that the the left hand one finish position was better, was better but you kind of knew what yeah, you were doing yeah, yeah. there it was yeah, familiar yeah. this one you're now thinking about doing something different yeah so yeah. it's focusing on that kind of movement with that club it all stems to say from setup though you're fixing the fault that you had yeah. initially yeah. by getting just in a better start position yeah, yeah? Then you're making your decent backswing, which you had, yeah. so that was good. So the first part is fixed. The second part, backswing, is good. It's now just allowing this club, when you get back to the golf ball, to unhinge, yeah? Yeah. So the movement you had before. I mean, this backswing on the right is probably a bit longer. It's on the left-hand side. So if you get the same length backswing here with that yeah. same whip, it's going even further. So it's, a, it's another yeah. benefit. But what you had was that sort of impact with an iron and just, yeah, the hands there, just so far yeah. forward with the driver. Yeah. You haven't got enough loft. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so if yeah. you do with it half D, this yeah. is going to be a low nut. Great yeah. for the winter, if they're in the yeah. links golf and stuff, but no good when we've got this sort of no, no run the golf no ball now as we have. We need to get that ball up in the air. Yeah. And just yeah. physically, again, everything impact's going to stay behind the ball there. Hands yeah. are going to be sort of level with the club head, yeah. as you can see here now. Yeah. But this is maintaining behind the ball. Say. Yeah. So you start off with that slight bit of tilt. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, then that yeah. sensation, that, that club's got to catch up. Yeah. Like, yeah, if the club doesn't catch up yeah. and the hands win the race, poor Mr. Club has left miles behind and yeah, just, no, all no, you're no. going to get is one shape of shot, yeah? And, and suddenly, you know, you feel as if the club is accelerating to the ball, you know, and yeah, I'm, not, exactly, I'm yeah. not conscious of the fact that I'm going to hit the ground or anything yeah. else. Well, you haven't hit the ground, you know, no. touch wood, you haven't hit the ground once. And the yeah, thing is, since that change we did with the cushion, Abe, every single shot, apart from that last one, okay, but even yeah. that's only, what, 10, 15 yards off line, so that's finding a fairway. Every shot since you did that kind of like whipping into the bag yeah. kind of feeling, everything now has gone left, or right to left, yeah? yeah, yeah. Just finding the fairway more common <laughs> rather than just say Using the analogy of the red arrow display team, where some go right, some go left, and you don't know where it's going to go. No, no. If your first tee shot goes 50 yards right and your second one goes 40 yards left on the 30, where do you aim? <laughs> so, uh -huh. Hang on, uh, yeah, yeah, seven, yeah. I'll hit seven iron, yeah? Yeah, yeah? So this is more so a focus on driver. With your irons, there's some good movements there. I think with the irons, obviously, you're in the same position here at setup as you would be here, but obviously the ball would just be back here where the club is, which there more means your club now is going to be slightly more leaning in the right direction. Yeah. So this is only the change you're going to make with the driver. The ball positions forward as it was here. Just move the club to the ball, but in doing so, you do it that way. Yeah. You don't go that way. Yeah. That's no. the biggest thing. If your shoulders, when they go to the yeah. goal, aim left, yeah. you're back to square one. You'll be coming yeah. down steep and smothering again. So it's and, getting and, that. And that, that yeah, that, that is, you know, that, yeah. that is. I mean, they're almost level, really. I yeah, mean, yeah. Not, yeah. A lot, yeah, yeah. No. not a lot of tilt no, there, is there's there's it? A, there's a, there's a, that, that is tilt. That's, yeah. that's, that's a token. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, yeah. Exactly, yeah, yeah. Okay, does that make sense yeah, to you? Yeah, okay, yeah, so have a couple more then and see how we go, okay? okay right.